Hello, today we're going to do a maths cast on Wright's theorem. This is when we factorise an equation which has a number in front of the x squared. So it's quite a difficult topic. This is an A grade topic, um, so you only really want to be doing this if you're going for the highest grades. So let's begin with an example. We want to factorise 6x squared plus 13x plus 5. So what I want you guys to notice is there's a number in front of the x squared, which means that we need to use um, a different method of factorising. It's a little bit harder, so I'm going to teach you Wright's theorem now, which is a way of factorising. So what we do is we take the first number, the 6, and we're going to multiply it by the last number, the 5. So 6 times plus 5 is 30. And what I then want to do is I want to break 30 up into two numbers that times together to give 30, that will add up to give this middle number here, 13. So two numbers that times together to give 30, but add up to give 13, are going to be plus 10 and plus 3. doesn't matter what order I write them. I could have wrote the 3 first, then the 10. It makes no difference. Now, the reason we've done that is because now I'm going to break this 13x up into plus 10x, and plus 3x. I'm still going to have my 6x squared at the front, and I'm still going to have my plus 5 at the end. Now what we do is we break this in half. So I'm going to cut that in half, and I'm going to factorise into a single bracket each half. So this half, if I factorise that into a single bracket, I can take out a 2 and an x, and that will leave me with 3x plus 5 in the single bracket. I'm going to do the same with the second half. Well, the second half, I can't actually factorise anything out of that apart from a 1. So we're going to factorise out a plus 1. And that will leave me with just 3x plus 5. So if you can't factorise anything out, it means you just have to factorise out a 1 like I did here. Now, this is great because now I have my answer in front of me. When I factorise this into a double bracket, one of the brackets is 3x plus 5, because you can see that is in both halves of the equation. What goes in the other bracket is whatever's in front of both brackets, so a 2x and a plus 1. So there you go. That is how you factorise an equation um, into a double bracket when there's a number in front of the x squared using Wright's theorem. Let's have a go at another example because it's quite complicated and it takes a bit of getting used to. So let's have a look at this second example. It says factorise 3x squared plus 13x plus 4. So again, what I want you to notice is there's a number in front of the x squared, so we can't just do it straight away. It's a little bit harder. So we're going to use Wright's theorem. So Wright's theorem tells us that we take the front number and we take the back number and we multiply them together. So 3 times plus 4 is 12. And then what I want to do with that 12 is I want to split 12 up into two numbers, which when you, times them, when you add them up, they will equal this middle number. So two numbers that times to give 12 but add up to give 13 well, the only one is 12 and 1. It has to be 12 and 1. Because 12 times 1 is 12. And 12 add 1 is this middle number 13. So we're going to break up the middle number. We're going to break up 13x into plus 12x and plus 1x. We've still got the 3x squared at the front. And we've still got the plus 4 at the end. So remember, what we do now is we break this in half. So I've put my dotted line down the middle to show we've broken it in half. And I want to factorise each half into one bracket. So if we factorise that front half, I can take a 3x out. And what I'd be left with then would be x plus 4. And this second half, once again, I can't factorise anything out of that. So I'm just having to take a 1 out. So we're going to factorise out a plus 1. And that will leave me with x plus 4, because if you take a 1 out, nothing changes. And now we can use that for our answer. So what you notice is both of the brackets are x plus 4. So that means that one of the brackets 
is x plus 4 in our answer. And the other bracket is whatever's in front of these brackets. So it's 3x and plus 1. Okay, so we factorized 3x squared plus 13x plus 4 into two brackets here using Wright's theorem. So it's quite a complicated method, but it's quite easy when you get, once you get the hang of it. So I've got some practice questions now for you to have a go at. So pause the video because I'm going to bring up the answers in a moment. So pause the video now. I'm going to bring up the answers now. Here they go. All right, so I hope you got them all right. Good luck. 